नमस्कार गुड इवनिंग माय फ्रेंड्स आई एम राहुल चौहान फ्रॉम आई ग्रीन इंडिया टुडे दैट इज ऑन एटीनथ ऑफ नवंबर 23 आई लाइक टू शेयर हाउ वीट मार्केट वीट प्राइसेस वीट स्टॉक्स आर बिहेविंग एंड हाउ राइस स्टॉक्स आर बिहेविंग एंड हाउ राइस मार्केट इज बिहेविंग एंड हाउ हाउ मच स्टॉक इज अवेलेबल एंड so this video is made for uh, your uh, information purpose only and uh, kindly do trade as per your risk as per your knowledge if you like this video please click uh, please like this video uh, please uh, subscribe the channel uh, let's start with the uh, report so all together from 1 to 2 months the market has totally over turned wheat prices which were moving on higher side <coughs> they <coughs> now they are under control and rice prices which were downside now they have been pushing further up the reason is that in wheat uh, through from uh, by omss scheme government is increasing uh, government has increased the allocation of wheat from 2 lakh to 3 lakh tons and which we which may uh, also increase in january because uh, at that time arrivals in the market is very less and let's see how uh, they do and they have also increased the allocation of the millers <coughs> but in rice if you see the export of uh, basmati uh, rice they have allowed to be done on uh, 900 950 american dollars Per metric ton, which was twelve hundred dollars per metric ton. So I will start first. I will start how much stock we are having for the wheat, and uh, let's start with wheat. Wheat on first of November, as per the data provided by the government of India by uh, FCI on first of November two thousand twenty-three, the stocks of wheat in central pool it was two hundred and eighteen point eight. Lakh tons, which was two hundred and two hundred point five lakh tons a year ago, and in twenty one November twenty one, the stock was about four twenty lakh. So you can see from twenty one, the stock has been reduced by more than a half, and uh, from last year, it has been incre- increased, but uh, very marginally. and uh, from april 22 to december 22 government was supplying 100 uh, 10 kg of uh, free uh, wheat or rice per person per one through pds through various schemes which has been reduced now which is reduced to 5 kg per person if we if we do the calculations uh, the government is uh, uh, presently uh, you can say providing uh, or channeling Uh, 12 to 13 lakh tons of wheat per month, which was 18 to 19 <laughs> lakh tons last year through PDS schemes, and there are other schemes like OMSS also. They are selling uh, wheat. <coughs> If we see in January 24, if they increase the open sales uh, quantity from 3 lakh tons to 5 lakh tons, and uh, plus 12 to 13 lakh tons of uh, the PDS supplies. so by end of the season that is on 1st of april 2024 <clears throat> the buffer stocks it may reduce to 70 to 75 lakh lakhs which is uh, lesser than uh, the stocking which may be the lesser than the uh, stocking norms and all these data so they are uh, you know they are done on the consumption basis so uh, overall the situation is not so good there is only one chance uh, they want to uh, eliminate the uh, supply problem that is to only chance they have got that is to import but uh, on import the, the duty of 40% is uh, uh, is applicable so if we calculate on 40% duty uh, wheat import uh, parity in india is not so good if they uh, they eliminate or reduce the import parity then then uh, uh, decrease the import tax then there are chances that uh, we can import wheat but uh, as as i believe as uh, as per my thinking as per my study uh, government should uh, open allow 
the import of wheat if uh, to be on <laughs> safer side <coughs> let's talk about uh, uh, rice the stocks of rice in uh, on uh, 1st of november in the pool was 200.38 uh, lakh tons which was uh, 228.87 <coughs> lakh tons in october if we compare with november 22 it was 210 uh, it was 165.97 and 21 it was 229.22 so you can see the stocks of rice is also uh, uh, stock of rice was decreased from 21 to 23 but from 22 to 23 the, uh, it has been increased because the uh, government has procured uh, uh, handsome amount of paddy from the farmers and still the paddy procurement from uh, the market is going on from the uh, farmers is going on and uh, these were the uh, stocks which uh, I have shared and uh, let's talk about the rice market since then when the government has uh, you know uh, reduced the minimum export price from 12 uh, 1200 dollars to 950 dollars uh, there was a tremendous uh, you know order came from uh, uh, for uh, non uh, non <coughs> basmati rice and uh, for basmati rice sorry, sorry and on ba for non basmati rice uh, um, there are there are some restrictions so they are um, unable to sell but in uh, basmati rice they are getting good uh, uh, quotations they are getting good uh, numbers from uh, many many countries so overall uh, the situation has been increased the rice which was uh, whose price were uh, uh, lower from last two months now they have started increasing farmers uh, basmati chawal farmers they are happy exporters they are also seems to be happy because they are getting offer from one thousand dollar to I heard 1100 to 1200 dollars. So it is win-win situation for exporters, for farmers. In case of uh, basmati rice, uh, see, uh, friends, uh, throughout the world there is a scarcity of uh, rice. Uh, India production is down. Government has restricted export. Uh, they have put uh, restrictions on exports in Thailand also, Myanmar also, Pakistan also. The production of rice is uh, decreasing so india is the number one exporter of uh, rice so there is no question of importing from any so any any other country and uh, after implementing after you know uh, putting 20 percent uh, export duty on certain <coughs> non basmati rice <coughs> the export variety is still coming and uh, pakistan uh, it is uh, you know um, it was uh, number two or number three export rice exporting country in the world so they should have taken uh, benefit of that but uh, due to the some uh, you know uh, some uh, restrictions from the government on exports they are <coughs> unable to export rice from pakistan also uh, because uh, the stocks of uh, rice in pakistan also is not so good and the government they have uh, put MEP of uh, 450 dollars per metric ton on 100 percent broken rice and 400 to 900 uh, dollars on uh, broken rice, white powder, walnut, steam, basmati. So they are also and they also want to uh, avoid any scarcity of uh, rice in the country. Friends, if you like this video, please comment something and uh, share this video and like uh, subscribe the channel. Thank you very much. Have a fantastic day.